Hello guys, how are you? Uh, I hope you're great. Um, I'm Eva, I'm your personality and talent development uh, psychologist. And uh, today I really hope I don't look too tired. The truth is that I am exhausted. Because today uh, in the morning I returned from uh, a trip to London. It was absolutely incredible. I had a great time. Uh, it's just that I traveled the, well, basically the whole night and then I went back, like straight back to work. So now it's uh, actually evening here and I'm really done. And, uh, you know, after finishing this video, I'm really going to just. Uh, you know, uh, fell asleep, I guess. But uh, it's not happening right now, so I'd love to use uh, these few minutes to uh, actually share some experience uh, I had uh, during this trip and something that's really uh, uh, close to the topic of. Uh, burnout syndrome and relaxation because I think that this is very important and um, uh, yeah it's uh, it's so uh, really important to share this with you so you know although I'm now uh, really tired uh, by you know doing something that was also quite challenging this way like traveling the whole night etc um, is that I was preventing another type of tiredness another type of exhaustion and so uh, you know in its very severe form this tiredness this exhaustion is called uh, the burnout syndrome so I'm not sure if you heard about it I suspect that you already did because it's a it's a very um, it's a very infamous topic um, so if someone is burned out, it's uh, mainly about, you know, this person having a feeling of like total exhaustion and it's not about just being like, physically exhausted. It's about mental exhaustion as well. It's kind of a disease of, uh, you know, modern time. It's because we are often, uh, you know, very overloaded by things that are happening around us. You know, this um, um, crazy thing that we have all this technology, but, you know, instead of making life easier for us in many areas, it also keeps us connected to our work life 24-7. So that's something what might cause burnout uh, very easily. And uh, so the burnout syndrome, if someone is burned out, it basically means that the person is really exhausted, but not just mentally, or not just physically, but mentally as well. So it's this state of an absolute, exhaustion this feeling of um you know total absence of energy of will to you know do something productive uh so people who are burned out they are not just physically exhausted um you know but they also suffer uh, mentally so it's connected to depression it's connected to you know kind of this loss of will to you know do anything so if you burn out you might feel hopeless you might feel exhausted it might be actually a big challenge for you to get out of bed in the morning yet in the evening you can't fall asleep because you are really very worried and uh, you know there are some dark thoughts and catastrophic scenarios happening uh, inside your head so you're kind of trapped um, 
in your own head and it's not a very nice place to be. So it's really important to have some plan, to have some coping mechanism how to prevent uh, this burnout from happening. And that was actually something I was doing uh, like last two days. So I took some time off and I tuned out and enjoyed myself, uh, you know, had some free time, uh, went to completely another, um, you know, city, changed my environment and uh, did some things that I really enjoy and I feel refreshing and relaxing. So, um, you know, many people I know who are working really hard, they sometimes can't even imagine doing this, like taking two, three days off and doing something that's totally unrelated to their um, business, to their work. Because they feel that, you know, by taking a few days off, they would fall behind. And, uh, you know, once they would return, they would have to catch, uh, catch up and they would have to, um, they would ha have much more work and they would feel even worse. But, you know, I used to have this feeling too, but then I found out that if I take a, a day or two days off and relax, take some rest and uh, kind of re-energize, I'm much more productive. And it takes me less time to finish the things you know, I would have done, uh, you know, for a much longer time without these few days off or without this rest. So what I'm trying to say today is that I want to encourage you to, you know, take some rest because it is possible to maintain you know, very productive tempo, very productive um, uh, work, you know, very productive, uh, uh, very productive schedule, even if you take some time to rest. Okay, so rest strategically. Don't be afraid to tune out for just a while because the energy you gain during this rest is the energy you can use to be much more productive and to do much more to be in much better shape mentally and thus uh, you know making much bigger change in the world around you Okay, so in order to prevent a chronic fatigue, in order to prevent burnout syndrome, in order to prevent kind of burning yourself from inside, learn to take you know, some few, uh, just a few hours maybe, or a few days of rest, uh, learn to re-energize strategically and, you know, conquer the world, you know, full of energy, refreshed, relaxed, with positive mind instead of this, you know, world of darkness around you and this realm of hopelessness it's really pointless. You don't have to push yourself so far. It really takes just a few hours, just a few days of rest, and then you can really make some positive change, okay? So think about some ways you, how you can incorporate more relaxation, and more time off, in, you know into your routine and uh, if you want you can let me know how you uh, how you succeeded at this okay 
So, it was great talking to you today. And I'm really going to take some rest now because I'm, uh, I'm quite tired, but inside I feel great and refreshed because I had a great time. It was totally worth it. And I wish you can have the same feeling as I do. Okay, so take care. Bye-bye.